Okay, hello again boys and girls. We are back with Stellaris episode 2. Uh, we're still with the, whoever I am, the Daddy Dan Coalition. And big shout out to my first ever sub, uh, Lisa, I'll call it Lisa, and for that... Since you didn't leave a comment, I'm going to actually make you into fire rate eight percent evasion. <clears throat> I think rule the nine fist. So let's Call make me. you an admiral. Now, so you you are these. Admiral Lisa Balazon. And she will rule our Wallenstein class ships. Now let's get this show on the road. I forgot to mention last time, uh, there is no music. Simply because I've got mods on that give Star Wars music, Halo music, all that malarkey. And obviously the last thing I want as a new gamer is YouTube breathing down my neck from the start. So, let's see what happens today. Now, as I say, I will be sort of skipping it here and there as nothing happens during the beginning bits. But I'll keep bringing back... Oh, we discovered that world. What have we got? Catharian stone? Good. A few minerals. And That's quite a good planet, really. Hmm. I wonder if we take Sirius first. How long till we get our colonised? 19 months! Oh, Christ. Anyway. I will return when something happens. Okay, what have we got here? Sensor echoes have indicated the presence of some kind of unidentified object deep within the atmosphere of this gas planet. Normally level two, eh? Hmm. Mm. It's thirty. There's still thirty percent. Leave it be for now, and he can. We'll let our our guy level up. We'll let um Aditya Putapa level up. And then we'll carry on from there. Oh, oh good, you've finished. Right. Oh, system survey complete. Did he level up? He did. Now, let's... Uh, where is he? 30% risk. Sod it. Get to it. And you... That's outside my territory. I guess... Research station there. Research station there. So that's all we can do. Anything happening on Earth? Mm, not yet. Let's clear... Oh, I can't. I'm really short on minerals. Yeah. <laughs> so this is done as well. Right, in that case... You go to Lastus, and I'll send another ship down this way. And, oh. Orbital complex? What's that? Oh, I needed someone with three. Your command. Your command. Still both two. Damn. <clears throat> oh, an arid and an arctic world. Oh, research, no, not research. Nearly done, nearly done. The DDC Pythias has picked up a strange energy signature coming from somewhere deep inside the atmosphere of Remelon 3. It appears to originate from a structure of some kind, possibly the remains of an orbital station. But the atmospheric pressure makes it impossible to approach. Nevertheless, scans of the unique signature have yielded a large amount of valuable physics data. Lovely. 
60 physics gained. Good stuff. Now you, my little minion, I want you to go all the way down here into the uh, unexplored territory. See what we find. Go. Go now. Oh, we're off. Ooh. I do like this blue background. It's another one of the Mass Effect mods. It goes with the home screen. This makes everything look that much better. It's not a bad system. Anyway, I shall return if something more happens. Bear with me. Oh, oh, research is done. Engineering facilities one, education and learning center. Sweet. Now, what else can we get? Nuclear missiles attempting. What's this? Fortified core layers, spaceport. Hit points plus ten percent. I've never seen that tech before. Hmm. How strange. Oh, mining. Mm, mining on missiles. On missiles. They don't do a lot though. That's the problem. Let's get our mining up. In the meantime, uh, I'm getting this. No, which one am I doing? I'm getting that one stripped because I want to build the. Uh, no, no, the Silicon Valley. Because it gives me physics, engineering, and just all around research. Build. Silicon Valley. I'll put Mr. Mr. Hoodie Sweatshirt Man there. Cause why not? Other than that, our, our workers run out of things to do again. See, I don't want to put outposts up yet. I want to get these planet. I want to get that planet done first, and get it colonised. Mm. Once it's colonised, then I can. Uh, I don't have to worry about mm. anything because that will give me a nice, uh, nice border there. But we'll see. But like I say I really love this. It just makes things look so nice. But. Is it? Are we? Are we alone in the universe? I mean, the only indication we've had that we're not is from the precursor stuff, and they were 12, 12 million years ago, not three. And even so, there's no. Well, there's a little trace of them there, but I need one command. of my guys to level up. Level up. Your God damn it! I need to Not get your, your bombing gear. Bow Kong, hurry! Ooh. Colony ships. Who are you talking to? That's what I want to see. Who are you talking to? So I think we need to increase the border range. <laughs> and it seems like my missus is back from work. I'm not back from work. Oh, sorry, she must still be at work communicating to me psychically. But I think it's about time she went to bed. Good night. I'm not talking to anyone in particular. I'm doing my video. <laughs> and I found an anomaly. <laughs> A pattern of, of unusual sonic activity on Lastus 2A. Oh, how exciting! I yes, know. Yes. Yeah. Go to bed. Uh, 65% foul, sod it. Let's do it. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, solar panels. That was so cool, solar panels. <laughs> We're doing fusion reactor. Fusion reactor? Awesome! Will you go to bed? God almighty. I would say refunds are available, but none of you are paying, so... I can hear Go you. to bed! 
Oh, I don't know how these people with families manage. It's difficult enough with one, let alone little ones. Anyway. How unprofessional of me. Well, of her. 350. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. Oh no! In their last message, the crew of the Lagrange reported oral activity spikes. They're approaching the surface. Communications were cut off shortly, and the ship and all aboard are missing. No! Oh, Bao Kong! You will be missed. Although, I guess it was a bit stupid to. Uh... <coughs> With a 65% failure, I didn't expect them to die. Okay. Oh well. It is the way with the, uh, the space exploration, I guess. Can't do much about it. Do 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 do. Well, they did it. They died the way they lived. Oh, hello. Aliens. Run, run, whatever it is they're chasing. Right, so they're all 250, 250, 250. Interesting. Your command. In that case, Pythias, bypass them and go there. Your command. And let's get a leader for the new, the new clerk. Recruitment cost, leader lifespan. Ah. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just take. The cheaper one. Shan He. Welcome aboard. To last us. What's that? Oh, it's a neutron star. Okay, so we now have need to build a little fleet. And I'm not sure the best way to do it. Because I'm still hurting for cash. No, they only cost 50. Um, and each one has a power. Oh, I can't remember where to find that. Not power 2. Course approved. Um, active. 36. But if they have a power of 36. 36, 72, 108, 109, yeah, it makes it's about right. Alright, let's get a couple on the go. One sixty-one, two fifty, and two fifty-five. So you need five in a bit. That's a fleet of seven hundred for that. <sighs> Knickers. Oh, well done. To Ostichi. Away. Hmm. Oh, let's investigate them. Six months. We can do that. I can't quite see their ships. Oh, level up. Scientist Alexander Wentworth the third. And Joe Chimbrilla. Sweet. You go, guys. Hmm. <coughs> Alright. Oh, God. We need some pretty good systems around here. I must say. Let's survey Cyban. Oh, oh let's level up. Ethan Marshall. Oh, that's our genius. Good boy. Mm. 
What have we got? Crystalline entities. The uh, reports of strange free floating crystal like objects observed in certain systems have been investigated. The ship size objects and their slightly smaller but equally crystal like satellites at first appeared inert. But some shifts in their orientation relative to our ships and new energy signatures emerge from within the prisms indicate that they should be regarded as hazardous and approached with caution. Even should we not find a martial use for them, studying a shattered crystal would no doubt yield interesting results. Gone! Nope. Not doing that. Hmm. Now do we study, or do we rip them to bits? Uh, well, they've got a hell of a strength on them compared to us at the minute. Let's... Let's study them and see if that helps us kill them. Eight months. Hopefully that might get us a bit closer to wiping them out as well. While our fleet builds. Active. Let's just quickly upgrade them. I didn't do a lot to upgrade them. All I did is added a kitchen sink. Don't know why I can choose it, but I am. 1% fire rate, 1% weapon damage, 1% shield hit points, 1% evasion, combat speed, sublight speed, sensor range, hull points, and armor. 1%. Mm -hmm. It's better than nothing. So let's upgrade them. See how long that takes. Oh, it's still building a Wallenstein class, so it's going to take a little bit. Wow, six minerals, four energy, four minerals, three energy, two minerals, four energy. Oh, that's a lucrative outside worlds. It's just never have any inside worlds or colonizable systems nearby. Hmm, what a nuisance. <coughs> Sorry. So, our fleet's at 255. With the upgrade, Ships upgrade. 261. So, we've got about enough strength to defeat one of them. But then, once their friends come in, that's when we get a bit buggered. Hmm. I'm not sure. That's still studying Cybern, that's studying Ostichi. Um, hmm. What to do, what to do. Anomaly found. Anomaly. System survey An abandoned ship has been left adrift aimlessly above this moon. The massive sounds protruding from its hull just that it relied on solar power to function. Where are we? Cybern 3A, failure risk 30%. Sod it. You can do it. What's your name? You can do it, Shan He. You may be new, but show them how it's done. Uh, move move back there and then go and survey that. 4 and 4, that's a good system. Serious, get into our border. How long for that border expansion? 45 months. Come on. Four months to go for mining. God and Bennett. And we still, well, we still really yet to meet anyone. I mean, I know I put it on random. But usually I do that and there's one like sat on my doorstep. <clears throat> Remember the last one I played? I took one step, say, from here to here. And that was it. <laughs> and then this time, there's no one. This means I can't show off their lovely ships. Comling, active. Not what I meant to click on. Um, have we got enough mini for more? Yeah, one more. That'll be eight ships. During operations, the Clark suffered a contamination breach in its reactor core. The safety of the entire ship was put into jeopardy, but thanks to a valiant act of sacrifice by the vessel's science officer, 
The engine room was successfully purged radiation. Unfortunately, the scientists received a lethal dose of radiation poisoning and could not be saved. Oh, don't tell me, bloody... Ugh. Anyone else? Oh, welcome aboard, Dr. Fox. At your command. Yeah, we're doing well, aren't we? So... Swan He has just given her life up to save her ship. Very noble of it. Ooh. The crystalline entities, the name itself a compromise between rival factions of xenobiologists and xenogeologists on Earth, are probably alive. But an earlier and perhaps more descriptive name for them was silicate antimate matter, as they have little in common with biological life. Solitary beings, each individual crystal sovereign rarely seen with more than a sentinel and a smaller cohort entity. Aside from the cohort and sentinel clearly being subservient to the sovereign of the group, the subtle nuances of the crystalline nuances nuance, of the crystalline entity's socio hierarchical relationships are lost on us. The entities do not seem to mate. We've yet to observe any crystals that are recognisably older or younger than others. Contrary to an earlier hypothesis, the shifts in hue between individual entities seem to be related not to their age, but to their latent internal charge, which can be violently unleashed. And it appears as if those sporadic fluctuations in this charge alter the refractive properties of the crystal. Can we... Uh, Find some practical use for this. Add the crystal sonar modifier to your empire. Spend 30 energy to instantly survey any entity system when entered. Hmm, fascinating. Or we could just go and rip them apart like I'm planning to do. Because it's more fun. Ah, well. <coughs> Sorry. Still a very slow start, still not met anyone. I think I might have to start sending my, uh, Course approved. my other ships out. I'll tell you what, All you move there, see the what time. you can find. Oh, hello. Oh, new mines. Oh, frigates or better guns. Better guns or better ships. Better ships, because I can get cheaper ships. So that was mines that were built. Let's have a look. So we can upgrade two. Oh, we can afford to upgrade one. So one we shall. Let's see what he finds. No doubt he's going to walk right into a pirate base. You watch. And arrived. Oh. Course approved. No. Let's keep going. Got to be something around. At your command. Yeah, there's just... Oh, hold your horses. Hadoufus One, a small and otherwise insignificant moon orbiting this gas giant, appears to be on a trajectory that will soon result in a collision with its primary. It's a level three. Failure risk is fifty-five. Hmm. Let's leave it be for now. And we'll come back to that one when Aditya has levelled up, who is now our chief scientist. May God have mercy on his soul. Oh, another anomaly. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Level 1, 22%. I bet we still bloody fail. Come on, Aditya, don't you let me down, boy. Oh, happy Remembrance Day. Don't you let me down, you're my chief research. Oh, hello. Where are we? Oh. Neutral fleets, Theta Aliens. What have we found? Oh. We actually found something. That's a space station, is it? So what's that? Course approved. 
Mm. Who have we found? Clear for the Fate aliens left research. We might finally have a neighbour on our doorstep. Course approved. Oh, yeah, you better leave. Um, come back, get us serious. <coughs> we can't build anything yet, but give it time. Ah, cybin's done. Right, go to. I might. Ah, where are you? Go to there. I might build a frontier outpost. Because we really need some minerals. What should it cost? Lacking 132 minerals. Now. Oh. A Ford. Oh. Voltown Trade Post. Delphis 1A was home to a small Voltam outpost where they traded with several neighbouring civilizations. At some point, the trade post appears to have been converted into a religious mission where the Voltam attempt to convert visiting alien merchants to their philosophy. Trade ceased shortly afterwards and the moon was abandoned. It's always the way, isn't it? You can trade with anyone you like and start pushing your religions. It's still four. Oh, jeez. At your command. You're not even skill three, your and you're not even skill two. Grr. I hope. Let's see how we get on with this weird alien we found over there. How many more months? Two months. There we go. After successfully translating their language, we have established communication with the reborn Dalek Empire. Diplomatic channels are now open, and all hostilities have been terminated. <coughs> personality? Dalek personality. Alien creatures, I speak on behalf of creator Davros, the undisputed ruler of the reborn Dalek Empire. Respect our borders and keep out of Dalek affairs. And perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your wretched worlds. Hmm, our warriors salute you, Daleks. The way forward lies in our hands, Daleks. We will not be held back, Daleks. Uh, our warriors salute you. Fifth alien encounter. The news that we have encountered intelligent, intelligent alien life for the first time has been received with mixed feelings by our populace. This confirmed that we have long suspected we are not alone in this galaxy. Each new alien species we encounter represents both an opportunity and a threat. We must be wary. These particular Xenos have a level of technology similar to our own, indicating that we achieve spaceflight at roughly the same time. My god, this changes everything bam 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 do they like us they hate us they massively hate us i wonder davros you are an ugly ugly man oh what's this we have allowed you to move about freely in our territory for too long today we draw the line Assholes. I was just about to see if they'll do a trade deal with me. I guess not. Let's see. If I give them Active Sense Link, will they give me Active Sense Link? Not in a million bloody buggery years, will they? A Star Charts. Nope. Anything? How about minerals? Give me some minerals. Not even one. Bloody Nora. They do not want to know me. Right. Oh well. <coughs> it's all nice, isn't it? In that case, I could really do with this uh, this frontier outpost. 82 lacking. Come on. I need this. 
I don't even know if I need them, but maybe I do. Tell me they block me out. Basket cases. Hmm. Things have heated up a bit quicker than I thought. I know I was talking about having one on my border, but that's taking the mick. I mean, that's not so much on my border as a smack bang in my face. So they're equivalent in what way? Their fleet power is equivalent, their capacity is equivalent, and their tech level is equivalent. Damn. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're going to do that to me, I'm going to close my borders. Why would our ship's presence be a problem to you? You tell me, you did it first. In fact, should we set, do we declare them as rivals? I think we should. Because they hate us anyway, so let's do it. You scoundrels. Hmm. Well, on that, oh, let's have a look at this first. Well, research. Oh, sociology, re society, re sociology research. Oh, can we build that now? Oh, 29, come on. <coughs> well, I think on that bombshell, I think we're going to have to call it there. So, we've finally met another civilization, albeit one that wants to uh, exterminate us. Um, we found a couple of precursor stuff. Not that we can do anything with them yet. A couple of new systems, and now we need to start drawing some... Uh, drawing the battle lines. And build our frontier outpost. Although I was saying that, I don't know if I want it there now. Go there. Let's get it right into their grill. And in fact, before we go, we'll make sure that's being built. Oh, for sake, the star's not been surveyed. Survey the star. At your command. Survey the star. At your command. Because if we build it there, that's going to do that bit. If we build it there, it's going to push them. Push, push, push. We might even get more data. What's that? Let us end this charade. Not quite sure why it sounded like a, a Mung Calamarian, but that's okay. We love a disquid. Okay, so that's Everim done. He's still only level two. Come on. Come on. Okay. Course approved. Quick. Build me a frontier outpost. And at least draw our battle lines. Hmm. But I think let's call it there. So we finally met someone else. We've got some crystal entities down here we want to whoop. Our active. fleet. Now, which one are you in? I've forgotten how to check. Ah, the Scipio Africanus. So you're in. Scipio Africanus. That's the Georgie Zukov. The Henry Rawlingson. Of course, she's in the lead ship. But it's coming along. Who else have we got now? The Paul F the Paul von Letow Letoff Forbeck. The Lawrence of Arabia. The Tamayuki Yamashita. The Holland M. Smith and the William Robertson. Well, it's not much, but it'll last. Anyway, keep it crispy, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.